How do you do YouTube? It is Jordan. This is Jordanary World. Today we've got another fragrance review coming at ya. The fragrance for today is Fascinable Riviera. Yeah, I did Google how to pronounce that. I picked this up at Ross for $20. This is a 90 mil size bottle, which is a little strange. It's still a good amount for the value. So let's pop it open. Riviera has top notes of Italian Mandarin, grapefruit, and incense. Heart notes of red apple, eucalyptus, and nutmeg. Base notes of guyac wood, patchouli, leather, and white cedar. Let's give it a first impression. This is definitely a fresh French fragrance. Citrus has that nice, bitter, rindy edge, but it's still juicy and commanding. Time for a skin test. On skin, the citrus is much juicier. Very tart and mouthwatering. Incense helps to give it more body. I'm also starting to notice that sweetness of the red apple coming through. There's definitely some woodiness as well, and I like the toned down nature of the leather element, as I'm not too fond of a very strong leathery fragrance. This is absolutely fresh and definitely wearable for all occasions. This was released in 2021, so it's definitely a modern, freshy type of fragrance. The combination of that citrus with the eucalyptus and nutmeg gives it a nice, bright, fresh feel with a little bit of that spiciness to really pop. This is good stuff. I'm actually surprised that the citrus hasn't immediately gone away. What I found in my experience is that a lot of these cheaper fragrances tend to have top notes that disappear almost immediately. This seems to really be holding its own. I'm not gonna factor in the longevity and I'm only judging the fragrance itself. I can easily see myself getting a ton of use out of this. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. I definitely like picking up these off the beaten path cheapy fragrances. And if you guys enjoy these reviews, it would mean a lot if you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one, guys.